Nestled within the tranquility of their serene neighborhood, surrounded by the vibrant glooms and lush greenery, unfolded a tale that transcended the mere existence of plants. The story weaves through the lives of a parent and a Paul, imparting profound lessons that resonate far beyond the boundaries of their gardens. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Paul returned from school, setting the stage for a conversation that would delve into the intricacies of growth and independence. Good evening, my dear. How was your day at school? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. It was good, Mom. Good to hear, Paul. What did you learn today? The story was interesting, Dad. But let me freshen up and I will be right back. Okay, son. The Paul returned, eager to share the narrative that had captured his attention. Dad, Mom, the story I learned in class today is about two neighbors in their gardens. It was very interesting. Oh, really? What was the story about? Well, it's about two gardeners who live next to each other. One gardener was really fussy and took extreme care of her plants. Well, that's interesting. What was the deal with the second gardener? While the other gardener did what was necessary, but let the plants grow on their own. That sounds intriguing. What happened later in the story? Well, there was a big storm one evening with heavy rainfall. The next morning, the fussy gardener found her plants uprooted and destroyed. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's really sad for the gardener. What happened to the plants of the other gardener? The other gardener's plants were still standing strong. That's interesting, Paul. Why did the second gardener's plants survive? Mom, you know? That is because the second gardener allowed her plants to grow on their own. The gardener thought them to be independent. The plants developed deep roots and were able to withstand the storm. Ah, I see. So, what's the moral of the story? Dad? The moral is that sooner or later, you have to let go and become independent. If you keep fussing and doing everything for someone or something, it won't learn to survive on its own. Does it make sense, Dad? It does. That's a valuable lesson. It reminds me of how sometimes I try to do everything for you without letting you learn on your own. Thanks for sharing this, son. Yeah, Dad. The story made me think about that too. It's important to let me figure things out and grow independently. I understand. It's just that we want the best for you and sometimes forget to let you experience things on your own. I agree, Mom. But the story is a reminder that it's okay to let go and let me learn from my own experiences. You're right. We should find a balance between guiding you and giving you the space to become independent. Exactly, Dad. Just like the second gardener did, taking care of the plants but also letting them grow on their own. I appreciate you sharing this story, and I'm glad we can have this conversation. It's a good reminder for both of us. Thanks, Dad. I thought you might like it. Letting go is hard, but it's necessary for growth. Thank you for understanding, and I'll try my best to find that balance. Letting you grow independently is just as important as taking care of you. I know, Mom, and I appreciate that. It's all a part of growing up and learning, just like the plants in the story. You're wise beyond your years, my dear. Let's continue to learn from each other. Definitely, Mom. Sure, Dad. I love you both. I love you, too. As the evening unfolded, the tender exchange between parent and Paul wove a narrative of growth, independence, and the delicate balance between nurture and freedom. The story of the two gardeners became a poignant mirror reflecting the essence of their own relationship. Dear friends, if this story has resonated with you, kindly subscribe to our channel, express your support by liking the video, share it with those you care about, and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you sincerely for being a part of our audience. Until next time, happy watching.